Hi, welcome again to TIA's Table. Today we're going to look at the usefulness of masks during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, you might want to avoid those long queues that you see across the world because it's a little bit too close for comfort during a pandemic. You should take a look at your life and see what you need for about one to three months. And I'll have some videos on that later on. But it's important that you stock up and not hoard. That is socially irresponsible. But now we're going to look at masks, what to buy and what not to do. Now, regardless of what you may have heard experts say or medical doctors, masks do work if you know how to wear them. There are some studies that underscore this and I'll put a couple of links below. In Asian culture, it's polite to wear a mask in public, especially if you feel unwell. So if you take a train ride or you're on a bus, that is normal here and I'm used to wearing a mask, especially as I ride a motorcycle and the pollution is quite bad here. Apart from keeping the viruses in or out, a mask has the added benefit that it helps you not to touch your face. The virus invades the body through your mucous membrane, such as your eyes, your nose and your mouth. And a mask, of course, protects your nose and mouth. Now, the doctors and medical experts who advise you to not wear a mask are usually Western and therefore culturally biased. Or perhaps they want to preserve their stocks and they were not proactive, but are reactive. But you should be proactive and protect yourself and stock up on masks. Now, there are basically two kinds of masks that you should buy if you can still get them. The first kind is a surgical mask, and it looks like this. It should have three layers, because if it has less than three layers, then it basically means it's just a dust filtering mask. Now, a surgical mask is useful for keeping the virus in. In other words, if you think you are infected, if you're not sure you are infected, in other words, asymptomatic, or if a group of people meets up and they all wear this mask, then of course, everybody will keep the virus in if they are infected, whether they know it or not. It's important to note that this kind of mask is for one-time use only. If it gets wet, any mask, this one included, through sweat or rain, then of course it becomes less effective and you should replace it. Now the second kind of mask you should get is the N95 and it looks something like this. It can also look similar to a surgical mask but it will be thicker with different features and it will be labeled as such. It could have a valve or no valve. Doctors and nurses will wear the kind without a valve because the valve means it's easier to breathe but you can also let the virus out. But this kind of mask, with or without the valve, is meant to keep the virus from entering into your breathing system. This kind of mask is for one-time use only. But I learned a little trick in Taiwan that can revive this. It's the best kind of mask to wear in a crowded area. So next we're gonna look at how to wear a mask, or rather how not to wear a mask. a mask. It isn't that complicated. I don't understand. Well, first of all, don't touch the mask on the outside. It's contaminated and you're just going to spread that virus either to yourself or to others. I, I saw a woman outside the Louvre in France, in Paris, holding the mask like this deep in thought in the queue. And I thought, why bother? Don't wear it then. That makes it unsafe for you and for others. So really, focus and concentrate when get used to it it's simple now secondly don't adjust the mask once it's on your face don't move it around you will make it less airtight and worse spread some germs also don't take off the mask and put it back on without taking the proper precautions and i'll cover that in the next video for you you should also consider that you should not move the mask to your head your forehead or underneath your chin while you're wearing it in public. You're just spreading the contaminants around. And I've seen examples of this. You should also not wear the mask only over your mouth and leave your nose exposed. That way the virus can enter. And I've seen examples of this in China. You would think they would know better. After all, that's where the virus broke out. And then there's this rather funny example of a doctor in America 
who was doing a demo, no less, on how to wear a mask. And he had it upside down and inside out. Don't do that. Basically, it comes down to this. Don't touch the mask once it's on your face and you're out in public until you're back home and you don't want to wear it anymore. The N95 in particular makes it difficult to breathe and it can cause breathing fatigue. But regardless, resist the temptation to touch it. In my experience and observation, masks and hand sanitizers are the first to fly off the shelf during a pandemic. I trust that you're in a country where you can still obtain masks. I stocked up early, but right now in my own country where I live, you can't find any masks or hand sanitizers. If you'd like to find out how to put on and remove a mask properly and safely, or if you'd like to find out how to revive a used mask fairly safely, then click on the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and we'll talk about that next time. Stay safe, and as they say in Thai, Sawarika. So